Hi, this is Rob with Idea to IDO and Rockstar Entrepreneurs. And I'm speaking with Davo here at the Computer History Museum in beautiful Mountain View, California. Uh, Davo, how's it going today? It's going great. Uh, I really enjoyed it uh, as the chair of the keynote panels and the digital contest. Okay. Uh, how were the pitches? Were you impressed with the quality and the substance of the pitches? Um, uh, definitely, yes. Um, overall, the conference was very high quality. We had some great speakers, keynote speakers like Suhas Patil and others and uh, coming to the Pitch It Up, I think each of the companies was uh, vetted because it was a competition and this was the top 10, like the Letterman top 10 and I think they did a great job. Now, how long have you been involved with SIPA and how has that helped you with your professional career? Uh, I've been involved with SIPA since first 1996 when I arrived to the Valley and then I was busy with my startup and then I was in love of sync with SIPA but then again I'm getting back into it as I will more time to have the volunteering. But SIPA is a great grassroots entrepreneur organization in the Valley. Dal, tell us a little bit about your background as an entrepreneur and the start of the work time. Sure. Uh, so I was at Cisco for 11 years, out of school, and then after that with a friend of mine at Cisco, we decided to, uh, get a, we got a calling actually uh, regarding the internet video land, and we wanted to get internet video content in the living room TV because we saw that opportunity, no one was doing that for content like YouTube and other things. So we aggregated all that content and got it on the TV using game consoles like Nintendo Wii um, because uh, that was an open device near the TV. So it was exciting. I was co-founder CTO and uh, we had a great experience and I really uh, learned a lot and uh, hopefully contributed to What kind of sacrifices have you had to make as an entrepreneur? Um, certainly the sacrifices, it's about prioritization and then when you give too much time to one thing like a startup, then you have to be ready for it. You have to make sure it's a good fit for you at that time in your career. Uh, and uh, the other sacrifices that you make uh, don't uh, hurt you too bad, right? So uh, definitely I had to like less partying, right? Less following my hobbies like singing and things that I do now more, stuff like that. Currently there's a global phenomenon of entrepreneurship exploding around the globe. What do you think of this phenomenon? I think it's only going to grow and I think there are so many innovative things going on uh, like for example Thiel Fellowship 20 and 20 even those guys are now getting incentivized to innovate uh, revolutionary ideas so it's all pie growing and I think it just snowballs and there's so much money uh, in building good innovative ideas and I think it's just going to keep on increasing and it's, it's so vibrant and dynamic right now in the valley also. It's, it's booming and it's great for everybody if the pie grows faster everybody is better well off I think. And I think the next four years we'll see one of the boom. I run into a lot of entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley who have great ideas and they're so focused on funding and their mindset is that funding is the end all be all process of successful entrepreneurship. What do you think of this mindset? Well, certainly funding is uh, not the end all be all, right? Because it's about a means to an end. The goal is to create value. Entrepreneurs do it for various funny reasons, not to raise only money. They need to raise money to uh, uh, achieve their vision, but typically the good time to do that is when they have uh, prototyped the idea, vetted it a little, with their own bootstrapping and uh, just two people huddling uh, in a garage and making it happen and then getting traction and then uh, ideally you want money to follow you rather than you following the money. And start with friends and family, you know, get people to trust you, convince some people and then that's enough to bootstrap in a good way and then money will follow you if you are successful in your early stage. What advice would you have for a young entrepreneur starting out today? Uh, first, read the book Art of the Start by Guy Kawasaki. I learned a lot from that. And that's what said that uh, let money follow you, the big money that is. And uh, in terms of other advice, I think, yeah, get together with a friend, co-founder, uh, challenge each other, brainstorm ideas, uh, try many ideas, iterate, come up with ideas that gets traction and which you're pas passionate about through and through, and uh, create value and, um, uh, and then once you think of that way, then the next steps will lead you to the future steps to well, make you successful. I've been speaking with Dava, one of the organizers of the Silicon Valley Indian Professionals Association annual conference. Dava, thanks for speaking with us today. Thank you very much, Rob. Great questions.